So people have been asking me to make this video for a long time. You've probably witnessed some crazy clips like this one. Ah! Or you've seen some god the whiff punish like this. Oh my, that was, that was sick! And then you wondered, um, how the fuck do I do this? How do I even get good at this? Well, don't worry anymore. Um, today I'm gonna teach you literally everything you need to know so you can also become a god of wave dashing. A god. All right, let's go now. So wave dashing is pretty much utilizing the game's input buffer to get a lot of dashes in a row really, really, really fast. So you have forward wave dashes like this. Let me go back. Forward wave dashes, right? Look how fast I'm closing the distance here, right? And then you have um, backward wave dashes, which looks like this. Look at that. Fast as fuck, boys. And to end, um, you can also dash dance like this. Back and forth, right? And back and forth. From there, you can kind of go crazy and just mix it all up. Like this. Woo! Right, so let's look at a little side by side just so you can see just how much faster it is. Obviously it depends on your character, but wave dashing allows you to move way faster. If you learn how to wave dash, you'll be able to play footsies and neutral at a way higher level. And whether you want the zone to rush down and mix the two together, it really doesn't matter. This mechanic is one of the most important for you to learn to reach the highest level with your character. Anyways, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Here is how you actually wave dash. So the wave dashing inputs are actually very, very simple. It's really more about getting that muscle memory for the constant rhythm and the speed of the inputs, rather than having to remember some kind of crazy sequences, right? Alright, so to start your wave dash, obviously first you dash, right? Forward, forward. And then for every additional dash that you want to get from there, you have to keep pressing block forward and just repeat that part. Let me show you slowly now. Forward, forward, block forward, block forward, block forward. That would be four dashes. And as you can see, because the game saves your last forward input from your last dash, you can block cancel your dash within that buffer timing and then get additional dashes with pretty much half of the normal requirements. Let's do it together again. So um, first you want to dash and then you want to block cancel that dash and then you want to press forward within the buffer timing to get an, a, another dash, right? So forward, forward, block forward. That's one wavy. And then, for every additional dash that you want, because the game still saves your input, you're just gonna be repeating block forward, right? For every repetition. Forward forward block 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 forward. Okay, so now let's do backward wave dashes. So this part is gonna be really fast because it's pretty much the same thing, except you have to use back inputs. So there's actually a couple ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you my favorite one. So I don't know precisely why the game does this, but after a back dash, if you start spamming block back, you're pretty much gonna be getting the perfect back wave dashes. Keep in mind that you're gonna have to input back block way faster than normal wave dashing. So the first step here is that you're gonna be back dashing, and then step two, you will block into back into block into back again, and that should give you your first back wave dash. So that's going to look like this, right? Like this. So from there, again, you just want to keep spamming block back block back for every back dash that you want to get. So let me show you fast, back dash, block back. Spam block back now. See, I'm spamming block back, I'm getting perfect wave dashes. Pretty cool, right? With this. Okay, again. The same concept, right? Instead of block forward, block forward, block forward, it's uh, block back, block back, block back, block back, block back. Easy peasy, boys. Now to put it all together, right? Let's turn out the dash dance and also how to use it to transition between all types of wave dashing. All right, so this is what dash dancing looks like, right? Back and forth, really fast, really smoothly. You can speed it up a little bit even from here. 
If you want the best possible wave dashes, it's really important for you to learn these buffers. They allow you to efficiently switch to moving forward or backward, and the extra frames and speed you gain here compared to doing it manually are extremely valuable. So the trick to dash dancing is that you have to start buffering your dashes while still in the momentum of your previous oh, one. Oh my god! Sheesh! Sheesh! Oh my god! So let's say you begin with a forward dash. From here, you're gonna want to start inputting your back dash while still moving forward. So forward, forward, and then you press back, which should start your back dash buffer. Then you block to cancel your forward dash, and you back again to utilize the buffer and get a back dash with only one input. So like this, right? Forward, forward, back, block, back. Forward, forward, back, block, back. Forward, forward, back, block, back. That's actually just one repetition. Let me show you how to keep going. So from here to keep dash dancing, you're gonna have to buffer the next forward dash the same way you just did that back dash. So you did forward, forward, back, block, back. Now what you do is forward, block, forward, and that should give you your next forward dash. It should look like this, right? Forward, forward, back, block, back, forward, block, forward. Now you can just do both dash buffers and kind of keep going infinitely. So you do forward block forward, back block back, forward block forward, back block back, over and then over and over again, right? Just let me show you. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Alright boys, it's time for your actual ascension. This is the part of the guide that's gonna make you an actual god, okay? Like an actual fucking god, I'm not kidding. So the best use of the dash dancing input buffer that we just learned is not really the ability to go back and forth, specifically. It's actually the ability to switch from forward wave dashing to backward wave dashing and vice versa at pretty much any point you want. Which gives you complete control over your character's movement. So like this, right? I'm forward dashing and I'm switching to back dashing at any fucking point and then I'm going back to forward dashing. Kind of all of a smooth transition between each other, right? Like everything is one thing. It's not like a separate thing, right? It's pretty much all chained together like a combo, right? So to do this, you're gonna have to use the same input buffers as the dash dancing part. So forward block forward or back block back. So you can cancel into these buffers from absolutely any dashes in the game, right? Including your back dashes, your wave dashes, um, just one dash, just one back dash. It doesn't really matter. You can always, always, always cancel into these buffers. So at any point while you're forward dashing, for example, you can stop and then go into back block back and that will give you a frame perfect back dash, right? Just like this. Obviously, if you're back dashing, it's the same concept, except you're going into forward block forward, right? So back dashes, forward block forward, like this, right? Now let's conceptualize this. Let's frame it together, okay? We just learned that from any dashes, you can cancel to the opposite direction, right? From absolutely any dashes, right? So these cancels, like back block back or forward block forward, will always enable you to follow up with a wave dash. So that's because they count as a regular dash and provide you with the input to start buffering wave dashes. So once you've gone into your initial cancel, right? So forward block forward, you already have your initial dash done, so you can jump straight into buffering your wave dashes now. So you're back dashing and then forward block forward, and then you jump straight to buffers. So block forward, block forward, block forward, block forward, etc. Just like a normal wave dash, but just a second step. So back dashes and then forward block forward, then you keep going with block forward, block forward, block forward, right? Easy peasy. If you're going into a backward cancel, it's gonna be the same exact thing. Um, you cancel backward and then block back, block back, block back, block back. What you can also do is when you go into one of those cancels, you can just start uh, dash dancing like this, right? Like this. For dash dancing, it's pretty much the same exact concept, except um, you go straight into your dash dancing input buffers. So if you're forward dashing, right, you go straight into back block back, forward block forward, back block back. And now if you are back dashing, you pretty much do the same exact thing, except you reverse all of the inputs. Um, so you're back dashing and then forward block forward, back block back, forward block forward, etc. So what's to really understand for you to use all of these inputs together is that not only these options loop into each other infinitely, they can also be used from absolutely any dashes. So let's say you're forward wave dashing, then you're backward wave dashing, right? Um, you can always go back to looping this infinitely. It doesn't stop there after you did one uh, switch, right? This is just a continuous thing where every dash that you do can always be cancelled to another type of dash. So likewise for dash dancing, right? At any point during your dash dance, you can use these input buffers to smoothly switch to either backward wave dashing 
or you can use these buffers to switch to forward wave dashing, right? And again, at any point during your forward wave dash, you can buffer backward. And from that buffer backward, you can either dash dance or backward wave dash. And the opposite is also true if you're backward wave dashing, you buffer forward, you can always start dash dancing from that uh, forward buffer. And if you're backward wave dashing and you buffer forward, you can always keep wave dashing, right? And again, this is really important, but all of these options always, always loops into each other infinitely. Doesn't matter if you did one dash or one back dash. It doesn't matter if you're in the middle of a wave dash or a backward wave dash. All of these dashes count. But from any of these four dash, you can always go into back block back. And uh, from any of those uh, back wave dash, you can always go into forward block forward. And from that input buffer, you can always keep on wave dashing or dash dancing. And now, all you have to do is just loop it all together infinitely. Before you go out and practice those wave dashes, we gotta do this. I really wanna go over a couple concepts that really really help when training execution related things. So really I could probably make a whole new video about this, but I'm gonna try to keep it in the context of wave dashing. So the first uh, mistake I see people make a lot when trying to learn how to wave dash is that they kinda go just as fast as possible at first. And it kind of end up looking like this, right? You get a lot of blocks, you get a lot of random forward inputs, and sometimes they'll get a few dashes, but then it's messy. So training like that will probably improve you in the short term, but over time, in the long term, you're probably going to end up building a lot of bad habits. Practicing something a lot does not necessarily mean that you're going to get better at it. It means more so that you're building the habit of what you're practicing, how you're practicing it. Well, think about it this way. Let's say you're a musician. Let's say you're a guitarist, a pianist, whatever. And then you're trying to learn a new song. And what you do is you get into it and you try to play the song at full speed right away. Doing that, you're probably going to mess up a lot of things, right? You're going to get the rhythm wrong. You're going to get the wrong notes. You're going to use the wrong techniques. Um, your muscle memory will be weird, will be messy, etc. right? So you start practicing but you're already practicing fast, right? And you keep repeating those mistakes. Well, pretty much, you're building the habit of doing the wrong things, right? In the long term, you're never gonna play that song as good as you could because you've pretty much built so many bad habits that hold you down from doing so. The same applies to wave dashing, right? So don't start fast, please. Uh, just get into it and do your inputs really slow and slowly but surely build that muscle memory. Like, download it properly, okay? So take your time, go slow. Um, put the emphasis on doing all the inputs perfectly and kind of slowly build up that speed over time um, while maintaining those perfect inputs. These inputs are so simple, so you're not going to need to spend a lot of time on this, but still, start from there, build up those good habits, boys. It's worth it. Trust me. Okay, so the next and last thing is, um, let's say again that you're a musician. If you want to cover a new song, you just don't take the whole tab of that song and learn it all at once, right? That's too much to remember. So what you do is you break it down and you take it step by step and learn it part by part until you put it all together, right? The same exact thing applies to wave dashing, boys. So here's how you break this down, okay? So the first step, the wave dashing, is gonna be forward, forward, block, forward, right? So you wanna master that first part first. So what you do is, is you keep training this, right? You keep repeating this until it gets too easy. And when it gets too easy, all you have to do is add more repetition. So instead of forward, forward, block, forward, you start doing forward, forward, block, forward, block, forward. And then you repeat the same idea, practice that until you're perfect on it, until you're 10 out of 10 on it, and then you add one more rep, so forward, forward, block, forward, block, forward, block, forward. And you pretty much just need to keep repeating that, right? You keep adding more reps, more wave dashes, you keep practicing them until you're perfect, and eventually you'll be able to do a full screen and just maintain the rhythm. It's a little bit like lifting weights, right? It's like progressive overload, but applied to fighting games or applied to all things. So of course you can do this type of training for every type of wave dashing, you just have to figure out uh, how to do it with the input. I'm sure you can do that. I'm sure you can do that, right? And remember, start slow, put an emphasis on getting perfect inputs, and uh, build those good habits, boys. You got this. I believe in you. Well, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you all become wave dash gods, and yeah, man, that, that's it. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Those are greatly, greatly appreciated, and uh, yeah, thank you again. Peace out, boys.